Hey everybody, how's it going? Corey here from ThemeCo with a quick video discussing some of the Flexbox features of our new column element. So along with our updated row, which came out in Pro 3, X7, and Cornerstone 4, our column also got a little bit of an update, namely this Flexbox layout option, which when enabled allows you to lay out the content inside your column using Flexbox. And this is going to unlock a ton of layout potential for you all in your designs moving forward. So let's just turn it on and see what we can do. Now, much like the row, how some of these features work, such as the alignment, will really be determined on the type of content you have inside your column. So for example, with this headline, since it's already spanning the full width of my column, this horizontal alignment really isn't gonna do anything. However, since we do have a taller column here, because I've set up this row overall to use stretch, and this column over here has a ton of content, which is pushing the height of these columns up, I now have all this available space in here to work with. So I can do some things like vertically center very easily, literally one click, or I could also move it to the end of the column. Now, where things get really fun is when you've got multiple pieces of content to work on inside a column. So if I inspect this column here, and it looks like I've already got it on. Since this button is not spanning the whole width of the column, I can actually use this horizontal alignment control to center it, place it to the end, or even stretch it all the way across. In addition to that, I can vertically center both elements at the same time, place them at the end of the column, or we can do some really cool things like use space between to push the button to the bottom and the headline to the top, or these other variations of space around, space evenly, to get different looks. Now what's really cool too is I could also easily reverse that layout. So now my button is at the top, text at the bottom, space between vertically, and I'm stretching everything horizontally to make sure it's filling all that space. Very easy to do and only with a couple clicks. Now as I mentioned earlier, how we use some of these features is content dependent. For example, if I have some text spanning the entire width of a column, I can't exactly place it in a row relationship with something else because this is just going to push a button, for example, down to a new line. However, in a situation like this where I'm using a couple buttons in a row or some icons, things that have a smaller width than the entire amount of the column, I can actually do some really creative layouts. So if I click here and turn on my layout, by default we've got a column placement. I could horizontally align these. Now vertically aligning them to the center won't appear to do anything because again, this is taller than my other content. However, if I do change this to a row, I can now vertically align this to the start, the end, back to center. I could horizontally distribute them to have space between, space evenly. There's all sorts of combinations of things you can play around with and it really just depends on the combination of your content and what you're trying to go for. So you're really only limited by what you can dream up. And now with the addition of nested content where you can place rows inside of columns, there's truly no limit to what you can do inside the builder.